I think it's clear that most people, young or old, are content to be passive consumers and spend out their dopamine yeah. doing essentially meaningless activities and consuming right. food and consuming air and light that is basically damaging to themselves. And they, I don't think they care. So I think that our species is probably divided into those that are really going to try and maximize on this gift of neuroplasticity, right? We're the only species that has neuroplasticity throughout the lifespan. And that neuroplasticity in childhood lasts as long as it does as a function of our total lifespan. Mm. It's incredible. So we were gifted this. And I think some people leverage it and take advantage of it and other people don't. And I think we need to accept that we're not gonna get everybody. But what we need to do is attach the reward systems of society, financial, socioeconomic, et cetera, to the kinds of behaviors that are gonna, is gonna give rise to people that can lead us into the next 100 years and yeah. 200 years. Now that is not saying, oh, do away with monetary systems or do, actually the opposite. I think that once people start to realize that you're high performing, uh, military, elite military, your high-performing athlete, your high-performing academics, your high-performing business people, they actually have practices that they use to regulate themselves to, in order to not just perform better, but sleep better, and not just to sleep better, but to listen better, not just listen better, but incorporate ideas that allow them into states of, of creativity and states of mind that really lead to new and exciting ways that humans can interact. And the, many people will just be consumers of everything they produce.